learn in this video how you can improve your cognitive functions and lower your stress and anxiety. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Grace. This is Grace Yoga Channel. Welcome. We're going to be talking today about Brahmi and Ashwagandha. I am not a doctor, so make sure that before you take any herbs that you talk to your doctor to make sure that it is something that is safe for you. Hey, welcome. Grace Yoga here. We're in the middle of an Ayurvedic cleanse, and today we're talking about Brahmi and Ashwagandha, some really powerhouse herbs in the Ayurvedic cleanse. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have an overview of our cleanse protocol. So I have this here for you. It's just a snapshot, but just, just something to keep in mind that as you start in the first month where it says month one, it's got a list of, list of all those tasks. You'll do start those tasks and then you'll keep doing them through the rest of the four months. So for month two, you're doing all the things from month one and everything like when you get to month three, you're doing month one and month two tasks as well as the month three tasks and so on. The only thing that is a one-time only thing is that Kitchery Mono Diet. So just keep that in mind. Today we're focusing on Brahmi. Brahmi is an Ayurvedic herb and when you look it up or you're searching online trying to find it, make sure you get the one that says go to cola. Okay, that's just really the most important part of this slide right here. We'll go next. Brahmi is such an amazing herb, as well as, as well as ashwagandha. It's great for anti-inflammatory, it's an antibacterial, it's an antioxidant, it's really good for the mind. It helps you sleep, it prevents insomnia, it helps you have a better mood. It's just got so many great things for the mind, including memory and concentration and focus. It also reduces stress and anxiety. It helps to stimulate collagen production, which is really good for our skin. It also helps with blood circulation. Ashwagandha is a amazing herb, which you've probably already heard a lot about ashwagandha. There's a lot out there on ashwagandha right now, but what's shown in the picture right here is the root of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is wonderful because it reduces stress and anxiety. It helps improve cognitive functions as well. It boosts your immunity and it helps with your physical performance, gives you that endurance. It helps support your thyroid function. So it actually elevates the thyroid function as well. Um, it promotes your reproductive functions too. Brahmi and ashwagandha work well together. They have a synergistic effect. Like they just are like so great working together to help improve your cognitive functions, like your mind, help to reduce your stress and anxiety, help to boost your energy, enhance your immune system and reduce inflammation. There are some precautions. So just as I said, is it helps to elevate the, the thyroid um, activity. If you already suffer with hyperthyroidism, an overactive thyroid, then you want to be very cautious uh, when taking Brahmi or ashwagandha. Um, also, if you have Graves disease, and actually you want to talk to your doctor before taking any herbs, period. So just talk with your doctor and make sure it's good uh, for you and your wellness plan. So how to take it? So you're going to take Brahmi and Ashwagandha with breakfast and with dinner. And you're going to start uh, in month two of this Ayurvedic cleanse. And you'll start small. It's always good to start small, work your way up. Start with 250 milligrams, which the tablets that I get, I buy them in tablet form. They're from Banyan Botanicals. They, each tablet is 500 milligrams. So if you got these, I would recommend that you start with half a tablet of each with breakfast and take half a tablet of each again with dinner. And you'll increase that to a whole tablet uh, with breakfast and with dinner every day. It's also important that you remember to listen to your body. So listening to how your body responds to anything at any point on this cleanse is really important. As you add something in and if it starts to really mess something up, um, then you may want to back it off and then take a break and then maybe start even with a smaller amount. This is an overview, a real quick slide. If you want a PDF of this, it's available. Uh, the link's in the description. Uh, you have your month one protocol, your month two protocol. Just remember that whatever you start in month one, you're going to continue that into month two and so on. And the only exception is that Kitchery mono diet. So the next two months, months three and four, same thing. All these things I'm going to have coming up 
uh, as videos here on our YouTube series on Ayurvedic cleansing. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe um, so that you know when the next video comes out and that you can stay up to date on our latest topics on our Ayurvedic cleanse. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Happy cleansing. Happy cleansing.